everybody. It's Kathy. I'm here for my weekly spiritual tea talk. I'm so glad that you can join us. Um, tonight we're going to talk about spirit animals or totems, T-O-T-E-M, animal totems, if you've heard of that before. Um, and I just wanted to uh, talk about a little bit of the animals or some of the animals that I do see when I'm doing a tea leaf reading. But before we get into our topic tonight, let me talk a little bit about me. <laughs> I'm a tea leaf reader. I've um, been doing that for over uh, four years now. Um, love to use uh, my teacups to provide messages for uh, for people as well as um, using cards, whether it's my tea leaf reading or fortune cards or whether it's tarot. Um, I like to use them as well in my readings. And of course, I'm a steep tea or sipology consultant providing quality loose leaf teas um, for anyone that's a tea lover, um, high quality, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. So you have to check that out as well. Um, but let's talk about our uh, topic tonight. If you're here, please say hi. And if you want me to pull an animal for you um, tonight too, let me know because I have my handy dandy little, uh, I don't know if you can tell there's stones in here, um, but we can pull a, a couple animals for people. Um, but let's talk in general about what um, spirit animals or animal totems are. Hi, Victoria. Thanks for uh, joining me. Um, as I said, if you want me to pull one for you or if you have an animal, if you know what your uh, your spirit animal is, I'd love to hear that as well. So um, animals come in a variety. Hi, Amanda. Um, they come in a, a variety of different um, folklore, shall I call it? Um, of course, we just had the Chinese uh, New Year. And with the Chinese New Year, we have different animals. So we're going into the year of the ox. Um, so obviously that would be one of the animals that is very, uh, um, very common. Um, I know there's a rat, there's a rabbit, there's a pig. There's all sorts of neat animals um, that are in the Chinese one. Um, one of the ones that I really um, like, there's a Celtic animal zodiac. Um, which in that one I'm actually a butterfly. Um, so uh, hi Margaret, she's here as well, thanks for joining me. Um, as well as there's also a Native American um, and these are usually based on your birthday so if you want to look up any of those they would tell you based on your birthday what what animal um, would be one of your guides. And another one, of course, is the um, um, our zodiac too. There's other zodiac ones that have specific animals related to them. So I just mentioned the Celtic one, the Native American one, and the Chinese <laughs> um, all have some sort of animal related to, and usually it's your birthday um, where they they decide what animal is um, for you, but. When I'm doing a tea leaf reading, sometimes animals will show up and I pulled out the cards that I can't believe there's 45 of them that are animal related. So kangaroo, whale, um, cat, we've got there, um, rat, um, lion. So animals are very, um, very connected to people and our characteristics and also using them as guides and helping us with um, with having lessons or having extra strength. Um, I find the horse is one in particular that talks about freedom and speed and if we we take that animal spirit um, with us it helps us to learn and grow. So um, I know Amanda asked for a reading. I'm not doing like a full reading but I'll pick one of my my um, uh, stones for you, Amanda, and let's see which animal has a message for you. They're pretty loud, aren't they? <laughs> there we go. And, oh, there you go. I just talked about a horse. So a horse 
is for you, Amanda. So I would recommend that you Google that. Um, look what a horse totem means. But um, I also have a list here of any of the animals that are in there. And if I um, remember everything about the horse, speed, strength, grace, those sort of things are what's important. Um, so they're they're definitely a horse would be giving you some strength and courage to move forward and um, would also remind you it says here to um, to remain sol solidly grounded in your spiritual walk or earthly experience and carry the burdens of life with dignity so hopefully that resonates a little bit with you Amanda um, if you guys want um, more of a reading I'll remind you that I do I do pull cards for everyone once a month which is the first Tuesday of the month so this one's a little bit different so you're not going to um, maybe you're not going to get a full reading or you're not going to get um, specific questions answered but um, let me know if that resonates with you the horse and then I encourage you to uh, to pull uh, or to uh, look that up for your own uh, for yourself there so now Victoria is the next one that said she wanted me to pull one for her. So let's see what I get for Victoria. It's a different shape. Oh, elk. I'm not as familiar with an elk. So I'm gonna I'm gonna feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not really cheating. Um an elk, again a really big animal that would have strength. Um Elk teaches us to become more observant of subtle energies. So basically, uh, um, you're not going to get, I'm, I'm thinking of like that hammer in the head. You're not going to get something like that. You're going to get little hints and little um, things that come to you, not um, these big things that kind of just drop on your lap. Um, it, it says to pay attention to your environment or environments, uh, so maybe a, a walk outside, um, to stand tall with a strong self-image and must seek to also be humble. So, uh, it appears, um, with the ma message to stand strong with pride and use one's gifts to show others its power. So that's for you, Victoria. Again, as I said, um, feel free to um, to Google an elk and see what comes up for you. And Miss Margaret, why am I calling you Miss? I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm here for you, Margaret. Let's see what you're going to have. Oh, this one's coming out for you. Oh, Raven. Actually, a raven is one of my totems as well, uh, Margaret, as, as uh, in the Native American ones. So, um, so the raven is very spiritual. They're they're um, connected to their their psyche, um, and uh, um, are known to uh, to provide messages. Any birds in general, birds are are known to do that. Ravens are a songbird. There you go. Um, and they're secret keepers. There you go. And they're subject to many stories and lore. Okay, I'm just going to go to the bottom because I'm not going to read the whole thing. They have ability to make a variety of sounds and high-pitched vibrations are known to alter consciousness. The ravens is sometimes credited with the ability to transform, move into other dimensions, or shape shift. You can expect frequent changes if the raven is porch, perched on your shoulder. So I guess what that's telling me, um, Margaret, is for you to be ready for some change and for for things to um, manifest and become uh, uh, different uh, all the time. So. Uh, you know, be flexible, I guess, is what I'm getting from the raven, but uh, very much in a spiritual sense as well. So uh, there we go. Um, now I see Barb is here, and I know you said a card, but tonight, Barb, I'm only pulling stones, which have different animals on them, going with the theme of the spirit animals. So, um, Barb, let me see which one is here for you. And you're welcome, Victoria. I did see your message, so I appreciate you letting me know. Okay, Barb. 
For some reason, I gotta dig deep for this one. Okay, what do we got? Oh, a bear. I was looking at the bear today. <laughs> The bear, doesn't that make you, uh, well, they, they hibernate in winter. We know that about bears, right? Um, and a lot of times when they appear in a teacup um, and I see, see them, um, I get the feeling of kind of what their characteristics. So like when you think of a fox, they would be kind of sneaky and sly. Um, if you think of a bear, you know, we're being brave and, and strong. Um, so let's see what this says. Um, the bear is a spirit keeper of the West, the place of darkness, maturity, and good harvest. He gives strength, introspection, and knowledge. So uh, it holds the, the teachings of inter introspection, which obviously is a word I can't say well, <laughs> when it shows up in your, your uh, life path. Um, pay attention to how you think, act, and interact. So, again, um, Barb, uh, if you uh, um, look up a bear totem, uh, you'll get a lot more information about what the bear would like you to do and, and how it might relate to what you're currently doing in your life. So, um, thank you, Margaret. Um, so let me just, I, I don't see anybody else here, so I'm just going to continue on with the, the animals and how much I love to see animals in my teacup. Um, as I said, there's 45 different animals that appear, I know I'm upside down, sorry, um, that appear um, in these cards. So when I use my tea leaf reading cards in a reading, um, I know we had the, the horse, but see the horse here, oh, you're welcome, Barb, um, the horse here um, has, um, it says a short journey. So the reason why that is, is if you think about um, how we used to travel, um, you know, we wouldn't travel by plane or we wouldn't travel by um, plane or something if we were going far away, if we were going somewhere shorter, um, at least years ago, we would have took a horse to get there. Um, we probably wouldn't have walked if it was... Um, uh, if it's really short, but um, but the horse indicates going on some sort of journey or trip. Um, but when I think of them as actually being a totem, um, it's more, or being a spirit animal, it's more of that strength and characteristics that they bring to you and what they can bring for you. So uh, that's the difference between what they might show up in your cup and mean, or whether or not they show up as some sort of guide um, for you as well. So let me just look at a couple more. Rooster is here. So an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So again, when we think about roosters, they are kind of loud and boastful and, you know, kind of um, ru ruling the hen house kind of. <laughs> um, so their characteristics come through there. Um, so if I did see them in a teacup, that's uh, that's more of what, what they're showing. Um, dogs, I did talk about last week because I was talking about um, um, them being known for their unconditional love, which we were talking about um, love last week. Um, but the these ones are representing getting together with friends. And uh, so a dog totem uh, it is nice to see, or a dog is nice to see in a teacup as well. So um, the cat, I get the cat a lot, um, and that's basically being sly and being careful about um, someone in your life. Um, the butterfly, which I mentioned is one of my totems, um, is about change and transformation. So anybody, and as you can see behind me, butterflies mean a lot in my life. Um, uh, and I get them showing up in weird places at weird times, and I see butterflies all the time. But as I said, they are considered one of my Celtic animal um, totems, so uh, it's not surprising that I see them a lot. But um, but anyways, I've uh, I uh, wanted to come in share some of the animals that are possible during a tea leaf reading. I wanted to share. Um, how I like to use my stones as well to give me some guidance on what animal might be appropriate at this time for where you are in your life. 
Um, and I want to, of course, remind you that I do tea leaf readings. So if you'd like to book a 30 or 60 minute reading, um, you can actually do that directly on Facebook. Um, you can message me or you can even go to my website and do a booking um, directly through there. I do have my special for February. If you book two readings at the same time, um, and they don't have to be back to back, but um, within uh, the time frame of actually booking the two and paying for the two, um, there's a special rate there I'm offering for February. So certainly let me know if you're interested in that, as well as I have a, a program for people who are looking to build their spirituality, are looking for a community that can help them with that, who are looking for some more guidance and talking about some some of these other subjects that I do talk to on my spiritual tea talk so I do call this group my spiritual tea talk um, group and that's a membership uh, um, that's paid either monthly or yearly and will will be a great community for anybody that's uh, starting out trying to learn more or maybe wants to um, learn how to do some readings on their own as well so I look forward to welcoming everyone into that group um, and until next week, I'll, uh, I'll say goodnight. Take care.